XBRL in and of itself sounds very uh, intimidating. Uh, of course, we know that it stands for Extensible Business Reporting Language, XBRL, and it really is an open standard, uh, a means of barcoding financial transactions, so it's content with context. The initial use of XBRL and its growth and its evolution as an open standard has been for SEC reporting. The SEC has said that corporations can voluntarily file their quarterly and annual financial results using XBRL. And that is a very, very important use and application of the XBRL open standard. What we wanted to point out, though, is that inside the value chain, there are important applications as well that although might be at a different level of adoption and evolution are nonetheless very, very important for all managers working inside organizations in value-adding activities. So the two applications that I've referred to in the past from an enterprise business reporting perspective that can be enabled by XBRL is one application is Sarbanes-Oxley compliance. Um, in order to comply with Sarbanes-Oxley, once you've defined a set of key controls, typically you need to pull data together from disparate sources to do analysis, for example, on error rates impacting controls. Even in large corporations, even in corporations with ERPs, um, the ability to identify data from multiple data sources inside and outside the corporation to pull them together into a logical look and feel and to make conclusions and insights around that data is often a very time-consuming, expensive task subject to a fair amount of frailty in terms of data accuracy. So our point of XBRL coming of age for management accountants is that XBRL in terms of its tagging, data tagging of financial transactions, in terms of its sort of barcoding of transactions, the whole content with context mentality is as important for the internal value chain of enterprise business reporting as it is for the external reporting to the SEC. And one of the early adopters of the technology, or I should say the open standard, uh, from an inside management perspective is the FDIC. And we are working with the FDIC in terms of webinars and articles to describe their story, which is they want to get to faster book close. They want to significantly reduce the cost of pulling together uh, business reporting. They have over 8,000 member banks for which they need to facilitate data transfer and data flow. So we believe that as opposed to a um, sort of a mutually exclusive view of internal reporting and external reporting, it is really one value chain one value chain called enterprise business reporting. And if you have a smooth, efficient, repeatable, auditable trail of data from your transaction systems that support both internal managers in terms of operational analyses, et cetera, and SEC external reporting, then what you have is a fairly efficient, fairly effective, fairly scalable process, XBRL, the open standard is one of the enablers to achieve that vision uh, in terms of an integrated end-to-end -end value chain. I think the key issue, though, is that uh, Chairman Cox in the fall, uh, Christopher Cox, the relatively new chairman of the SEC, uh, came out in the fall with a very, very strong statement supporting XBRL. He didn't come right out and say it, but the implications could be that perhaps filing an XBRL will go from being voluntary to mandatory. Suffice it to say, if that were to happen, and it's a big if, I'm certainly not trying to put words in the mouth of uh, Chairman Cox, but if that were to happen, suffice it to say that the adoption of XBRL will grow exponentially. In the meantime, there's several corporations that are looking at the XBRL open standard as a means to also enable their internal value chain. 
The IMA uh, believes that XBRL or the adoption of XBRL should be a best practice, is a best practice for companies uh, involved in enterprise business reporting, which of course is essentially any organization, whether you're a private, non-for-profit, or public corporation filing reports with the SEC. Uh, you have a need to do some level of enterprise business reporting and related analyses. Um, in fact, in April, on April 25th, the IMA issued a press release that contained our position statement on XBRL. It was just in advance of the XBRL US meeting in Boston at the end of April. And essentially we said that XBRL should be adopted it has application not only for SEC reporting, but also for making the internal value stream more efficient and effective. And corporations, large, medium, and small, are still struggling today with getting to faster book close, uh, producing financial and operational results at lower cost, of course, in the wake of Sarbanes-Oxley, producing those financial and operational results at lower cost, moving toward more actionable data, more leading indicators to balance the preponderance of lagging indicators. All of those desires, one way or another, are still strong desires of all corporations. We may have improved over the years in a relative sense on many of those dimensions, but especially in a web-based environment that we're in today, or moving to today, XBRL can be an incredible enabler. And that's why we've been such a strong supporter of XBRL, as we outlined in our April press release. We've uh, had a major webinar in November on XBRL from the inside. And we're continuing to work with the FDC, FDIC and others to speed its adoption from an inside management view.